Buying a young, thriving, innovative fintech company seems like the obvious choice for the legacy banks that want to stay relevant, aka stay in the game. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, buy them the f*** out. Among all of the fintechs today, Social Finance, aka SoFi, is the only one directly competing with legacy banks. So it should be a no-brainer that some, if not all, are waiting for the right chance to purchase this one-stop shop fintech company. The announcement of three SoFi board of directors stepping down with no clear reasons had only spilled gas on the fire. Some people were saying that there is a potential buyout. Assuming that SoFi did get acquired, should we expect the worst? Or is this the beginning of our journey to early retirement? In this video, we'll go over some things that could happen if SoFi gets acquired by another company. Just a full disclaimer though, we're not saying that SoFi will get acquired by another company, only that it could, and this is what it may look like if it were to happen. Also, we're not financial advisors, and this is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence, or as we like to call it, doo doo. A quick announcement, our Patreon is dropping this month. We'll officially open the doors to our Patreon on 420 aka April 20th at you guessed it 420 Pacific Daylight Time. So basically 420 p.m. California time. The doors to Patreon will be closing at 420 p.m. California time on the 30th so make sure you don't miss it. As a token of our appreciation to our Patreons, we'll be shouting out our Patreons in every single video we make on this channel. So as long as you're a Wealth Gambit Patreon member, you'll get shouted out in every video, as long as you're an active member. And of course, we have a SoFi Investors private Discord. You don't really wanna miss that. But back to the video. Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citi, these are all very notable legacy banks, and you know what they all have in common? That's right, they all own SoFi. It's no secret that huge institutions are aware of SoFi. It wouldn't surprise us if at least one of these institutions have talked about the potential of buying SoFi. So let's talk about why this would make sense for these institutions to acquire SoFi. Acquiring a fintech company rather than further competing with them makes a lot of sense for banks. Banks are highly regulated entities, which make it harder to update their banking system. Whereas fintech companies are less regulated, but due to the technology, they're able to move near the speed of thought. Some fintech companies complement bank products and services. In fact, JP Morgan acquiring WePay, a payment processing technology, for up to 400 million in 2017 was considered an important milestone for the bank. This acquisition marks the first major fintech acquisition of JP Morgan, and it has led the bank to expanding into the payment processing space. If it's proven to work once, then it wouldn't be too far of a reach to expect another fintech acquisition to happen. But JP Morgan isn't the only bank that's made a huge fintech acquisition. There is another. Last year, Bank of America purchased Axia Technologies, a medical tech and payment processing company that provides gateway and terminal software solutions for healthcare providers to facilitate end-to-end -end payments. Hence, showing that Bank of America is exploring the potential of the medical payments market. It seems like big banks are catching on to the trend. It's no secret that physical bank branches have been closing. Let's take a look at the CNBC article published January 21, 2022. According to CNBC, U.S. banks closed a record number of retail branches in 2021 as customers increasingly turn to digital banking and the industry consolidates. Well, I'll be damned. Banks seem to rely on fintech solutions for business expansion and in exploring other key areas of the financial industry. It's like big bros relying on their younger brothers. Look at Facebook, aka Meta. They're known to acquire everything that could be a threat to them in the future, like WhatsApp, Instagram, Oculus, and many more. Meta acquiring Oculus puts its foot in the door to disrupt the virtual reality sector. Now, let's talk about Expedia and how they've dominated market share. Did you know Expedia owns Travelocity, Trivago, Orbitz, Hotwire, and Hotels.com? As John Bogle said, finding a needle in the haystack, let's buy the whole haystack. Okay, I know he was obviously talking about index funds, but you get the point. Any one of these legacy banks could acquire SoFi to disrupt the fintech banking space, acquire SoFi's market share, and leverage its technologies to be ahead of the curve. We live in a digital age, and in a way, they're future-proofing themselves to not get dominated by other competing companies. Lately, it's been SoFi acquired this, SoFi acquired that, but never, what if SoFi is the one that gets acquired? 
Here's our thoughts. Fintech companies are often startup companies and getting acquired by a legacy bank means they are standing on the shoulders of giants. Kind of like if Toyota or Apple would have acquired Tesla back when they could have afforded to do so. So if SoFi gets acquired by a huge bank, this could mean that SoFi stock could skyrocket. A lot, however, depends on how much the acquiring company pays for SoFi. If it's a very good fair price, then that means money for us shareholders. If not so good, then it'll be a bad time. Oh man! <laughs> But this isn't all. Mergers and acquisitions come with some changes of management too, at least for the company that's being purchased. A legacy bank acquiring SoFi might mean that its CEO or CFO might change. We don't wanna see that. On top of that, it could pose a slight or a huge change in SoFi's business model. The perks and benefits might get adjusted, the interest rates might change, or worse, the products won't be better when used together. It's a nightmare. Is this a nightmare? Do you guys think SoFly will get acquired? If so, comment. I definitely think SoFly will get acquired down below, just so we know. To sum it all up, SoFly getting acquired by a bank is solely born out of speculation at the moment and in our opinion. What we do believe, however, is that if it were to happen, Noto and the management team would do it for a price that would make it worth our whiles. After all, Noto and the management, like us, are SoFi shareholders. Personally, we here at Wealth Gambit wouldn't be mad at SoFi getting acquired so long as shareholders made at least double to quadruple their money. In our opinion though, the most exciting option is for SoFi to continue along its route and hit the hundreds of billions of dollars in market cap so that we could turn our SoFi investors private discord chat on Patreon, releasing on 420 into a Lambo owners private discord chat. If you found any value in this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be updated as soon as we drop a new video. Shout out to Darius Johnson and Arthur Magazu. Thanks for supporting our channel and waiting for our Patreon launch. You're the real ones. Thanks for watching. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, peace.